Hello friends, in this video we will install a WebLogic server. So we'll open terminal. So already downloaded the WebLogic server from the internet. So a login as a super user, root user. The SU command is for switch user. So when we don't use any name after the a su command it directly points to the root user so we log in as a root user so I'll, I'll mount a file system uh, from windows to the virtual box so i have a the weblogic server binaries in public folder of a windows machine so i'll use this as mount point i can access using slash media now if i say ls i can see the folders of which are available in windows actually so now i have the wls server here i say dot slash wls bin and press enter so it is extracting the web logic server take some amount of time to install the weblogic server so weblogic server is an application server which has the features of both uh, web a web server and the application server and it's a product of oracle So in the next video we will see uh, how to use Eclipse and probably in the upcoming videos we will see how to install a JBoss server. So you can see the installation is going to start. So to install, we all we have to do is next as we do it on Windows. So it says create a new middleware. So I would like to create not in the root directory. I'd like to create it in slash user slash local slash oracle. I use a small case. So I'll use slash use okay slash user local oracle I'll say next so I don't need the uh, security updates right now I'll say bypass this and I'll say next so I want a web logic server needs to be installed so I'll say the custom I don't need this enterprise pack for Eclipse right now so I'll go read leave this options I'll say next and it, it it has bundled JDK with it so I can use this so I'll say I'll uh, let me use this bundled JDK along with the Oracle I'll say next user local Oracle middleware so the server will be installed here in the middleware uh, folder So I'll say next. So it starts installation. So we are installing Oracle WebLogic Server 11G. 
so it has fastest java virtual machine so there may be uh, there will be uh, some modifications with the jvm Oracle WebLogic server is one of the widely used uh, web server or the application server. So the, it says congratulations installation is complete. So we can start the uh, quick quick start. So I'll say done. So it quick start. So get started with WebLogic server. I'll click on this. So what I'll do is I'll not configure the user projects in the slash user local or slash user lib. I'll configure uh, it in a user directory. I'll say next. I'll, I, will, I will not use it user local oracle. I'll use uh, slash home slash mac okay I'll use this folder uh, and again I'll use uh, a name here web logic okay, and say next so administration administration password is required I'll give a password I'll say next. So I'll install. I'll insert in a development mode. So administrator server uh, next. So this will be the admin server uh, port numbers. This uh, so I'll say next. So WebLogic user seven thousand one. I'll say create. So this is the way how we access the base domain and the domain location is slash home slash max slash web slash web logic base domain so I'll close this so if you want to access the server if you want to start the server you can go to slash user local web logic okay user local oracle middleware WLS server you can go to server bin okay, uh, not the start manager we'll go to web logic server server bin Let's see where the start server script is available. So we'll use a ls command. Server bin. Let's see what the script is about. So it 
says loading domains so this is a node load man, a node manager I have to control C I'll, I'll stop this process we'll find exactly where the start server files are there go to utils quick start so we have a quick start file here uh, quick start script here if you want to start quick start you can go from here so it will start the quick start graphical user interface so I'll close this right now so to start the server we need to use a star server startup script okay so we have created a base domain in a slash home right so we go to slash home slash mac slash web logic slash user projects also base domains user projects or you can have you'll have a start web logic sh so you can start this server from here and you can go to once it comes to server in running mode we can uh, start using it So it will take a little time. You see, server started in running mode. So now you can go to Mozilla Firefox or any browser. And you can see local host colon 7001 slash console. This is deploying application for the console. So then you get a WebLogic login. You can log in using WebLogic username and WebLogic password. So whatever the training I'm doing uh, is good for a home server a learning purpose. So actually, uh, configuring of a server on a real server machine uh, takes a lot of efforts, a lot of planning. So the WebLogic administration console is there for the domain we created. So since I'm running it on a uh, virtual machine, uh, it's a little slow. If you have a pretty good RAM and working on uh, a real hardware, so then would, would it would be a little faster. So you can see you get the console here, you can do administration, you can start your deployments, everything. So we'll wrap up this video. So in this video we've learned how to install a WebLogic server. Uh, we have installed WebLogic user projects, the base domains in the slash uh, home, direct slash home slash Mac directory. So most of the time since servers, it's the user directories will be uh, used for, the, for deploying the applications. says permission denied because the root user has uh, configured this
so it will be under the name of uh, root ls the web logic can do ls minus ld to check the permission so what we can do is change the permission of this or ownership own mac dot mac web logic recursive okay you need to be a super user now it's mac and mac so now you can see the directory ls web logic ls base domain you can see all the files here server did auto deploy file uh, folder so you can add the deployments here so that it gets auto deployed friends we'll see in the next video uh, how to use eclipse in this video we've learned how to install weblogic server thank you for watching this video